Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Digital Logic Design. In today's class, we are going to see the overview of uh, syllabus regarding the Digital Logic Design. So in short, most of the uh, students call it as DLD. So this particular subject is almost similar for any stream in the engineering like uh, data science, information technology, computer science, ECE, electrical, and uh, so on okay so for all this uh, departments and in any year or in any kind of university almost digital logic design topics will be similar to. so coming to the prerequisites so it does not need any kind of uh, basic knowledge of or any prerequisite uh, to study this particular digital logic design so this subject itself is a basic with respect to this uh, logic design and coming to the course objectives. So let's see some of the course objectives. So we will be able to understand. So in order to understand various number systems like addition, subtraction with respect to binary system, error detection codes, error correcting codes, those will be uh, learned over here. And we can also come across Boolean functions using uh, Boolean laws and also we can realize the k-maps along with the logic gates and not only that in the coming units we will be uh, coming across various combinational circuits along with the practical applications as well and coming to the further units we have sequential circuits in which it includes latches flip-flops and their usage and not only that in the last units we also come across design of synchronous and asynchronous counters. So based on this, what are the outcomes we are going to see is we are able to understand various number systems. We are able to see the various computations like uh, complements, error detection and error correcting codes kind of thing. And we can also realize lots and lots of uh, Boolean algebraic uh, uh, principles and also k maps for simplifications we can also see the design of uh, combinational circuits analysis of the flip flops and design of the sequential circuits as well so starting from basic binary system or the number system till the designing of the sequential circuits or several combinational circuits we will be learning in this all five units so this is the unit one so unit one, we have completely number system where the number system consists of binary, octal, hexadecimal conversions. And using uh, one's complement and two's complement, we are also going to perform some subtractions. We are going to see the concept of overflow and representation of negative numbers in one's and two's complement. And not only that, we also come across 8421, 2421, XS3, gray code, all these kind of formats and the major important one is we are going to learn about the even and odd parity and also we will be uh, checking or correcting the uh, codes with respect to the hamming techniques and uh, uh, these uh, basics covers in the uh, from the unit one Coming to the unit two, it is completely related to the logic gates and its realization. So using the Boolean algebraic and the Boolean laws and the properties, we are going to realize several logic gates. And not only that, we also going to uh, compute uh, some of the products and product of the sum and also in canonical forms. Okay. And we can also see the gate minimization with respect to K maps. Okay and we will be using uh, don't cares okay and with and without the don't cares we are also going to design several logic circuits using universal gates and coming to the unit three we have completely combinational circuits and its applications and we we can also come across half adder full adder subtractor okay binary adder and we can also see several code converters, decoders, encoders, multiplexers, demultiplexers. All these will be coming across in electronics, right? Uh, like uh, in the chips where we are using or the ICs integrated circuits where we are using to 
take the inputs and deliver the output. There we will be coming across all these things. And we are going to see or learn with respect to the block diagrams, how the inputs are given, how the clock pulses are given, and how the ICs uh, will behave whenever inputs are given and how the outputs is achieved, we are going to see in the third unit. And coming to the fourth unit, it is completely related to the sequential circuits. So like uh, latches, flip-flops, uh, storage elements, and uh, in flip-flops also, we are going to see uh, famous uh, flip-flops like SR flip-flop, D flip-flop, JK flip-flop, okay, T flip-flop, master slave JK flip-flop, okay, and these kind of thing. And not only that, we can also see the flip-flop conversions. And coming to the last one, unit five, this unit five uh, comprises of both registers as well as counters. And uh, in the registers, we are going to learn about the shift registers and in the counters, we are going to see the up down con counters, decade counters, synchronous counters, okay? And uh, uh, we can also see the ring counter, Johnson counters and on all those things. So, Starting from the basics from unit one till the unit five, we are almost going to cover the basics of integrated circuits as well as the number system, uh, how they are used in the digital format, okay? And the textbook uh, referred for this particular digital logic design is the Morris Mano, okay? So it is one of the uh, best uh, international uh, textbook, which is, Referred. If you want to uh, make the problems easy and very much understandable, it's better to go with the uh, Indian author like Anand Kumar, Switching Theory and Logic Design. So that is one of the best book where we can go for the reference of the problems and the concepts. Okay. So this is the overview of the syllabus with respect to the digital logic design. And from the next class onwards, we will be uh, solving each and every problem and each and every concept with respect to unit 1 till unit 5.